Hi, um, I'm Paul Fisher, and uh, this is going to be just a very quick um, review or flick through the uh, latest sketchbook that I've uh, just recently finished. Um, this has taken me about a year to do, uh, and encompasses mainly pen and wash uh, paintings of local scenes, uh, mainly in uh, Gloucestershire, the Cotswolds and so forth. Um, just before I start, just a, a quick note about um, the equipment I use, uh, the tools and so forth. I'm working uh, in a, um, a moleskin A4 watercolour sketchbook. I also use Hanimal um, A4 sketchbooks as well. Um, both are, are similar in many respects. I've had more success perhaps um, with the Hannibal uh, sketchbooks. Um, occasionally the moleskin tends to cockle a bit more um, and so I've gone more over to the, to the, to the Hannibal. As, as far as um, equipment is concerned, um, these are pen and wash paintings so I usually start off sketching using a uh, Kuro Toga Uni 0.5 propelling pencil um, I then ink with uh, Pigma Micron pens, 0.1 and 0.5. Um, and then where I want some shadows and so forth, underneath ledges, eaves, etc., I use uh, a Lamy fountain pen with non-waterproof ink. Um, for details and highlights and so forth, um, I use a Uni Posca um, 0.7 white pen, which is very useful. Paint-wise, um, here are my paints. They're in um, a rather nice La Patite palette, which was handmade. Um, and the colours I use are Ultramarine Blue, Cobalt Blue, Payne's Grey, Cobalt Teal Blue, uh, which is a uh, Daniel Smith colour. The others are mainly um, uh, Windsor and Newton, uh, Pyrol Red, which is another Daniel Smith colour, Alizane Crimson, um, Quinacridone Violet, which is another Daniel Smith colour, Indian Yellow, Quinacridone Gold, Lemon Yellow, Quinacridone uh, Sienna, um, Naples Yellow, and this one here, the only green I will use directly out of a tube, which is Green Appetite Genuine, which is again a Daniel Smith colour, Yellow ochre, uh, burnt sienna, which I don't use quite so much as I used to, and finally burnt umber. And I do most of my mixing of the paints actually on the paper, just dropping them into um, the wet wash. There's a little bit of mixing you see here, but most of it, as I say, is done um, on the on the paper itself. Right. So, unfortunately, in order for you to be able to see the the pictures better, because of the um, landscape. Um, shape of the the uh, sketchbook. I'm going to have to do this in two parts. Um, so I'll start off, uh, this is right at the beginning, um, last August, um, and some of these pictures, uh, these paintings, are from old black and white photographs, um, which I've then just added uh, colour to and so forth. So Newland Street, Colford in 1906 gets us going, followed by uh, Market Hall in Newent, uh, taken from one of my own photographs, a lovely day out there. Um, the Ostrich Pub, which is a, a localish pub, again from an old black and white photograph. Clearwell um, Preaching Cross, again from an old black and white. Um, Tudor ENC Shop at Newent. And then this is a plain air painting across the, um, uh, the river from uh, Lydney Harbour, across the Avon. Um, another one to uh, Miley and Mitchell Dean from a photograph of the 1900s. Uh, the Red Lion, Newent. And then this was plain air as well from Lydney Harbour, some of the uh, boats there and so on. Um, Cinderford Market Street, 1920s. Uh, St Mary's Kill, we went on a holiday down there not too long ago. Um, so that was plain air. Uh, and the yarn market at Dunster, again from um, photographs I took on a holiday. Inkwell Cottage, Burford. Anne Hathaway's Cottage, Warwickshire. 
uh, cottages at Dunster. Uh, watch it. Uh, the Pack Horse Bridge at Alford. So that's a bit um, out of Kinter. That's from a different part of the country. Uh, Arlington Row, Bibbury, and Chepstow Castle. Ross and Wye. The Lodge Abney uh, Crucis. Church of the Holy Rood, Apney, Bell's Cottage, Alton, Clock Tower, Chipping and Sopery, Lanterley, uh, Secunda Priory, which is very local, uh, just a general uh, Cotswold Cottage, the Old Schoolhouse Burford, the house at Acton Turville. Uh, it's a toll house at that interval. And finally, Stanton Village High Street. So, um, starting again from the beginning, but going on to the right hand pages now. Um, this is the Gothic Cottage at Stour Head. Um, two views of that. So, another view. A lovely place to visit. Uh, St. Peter's Church, Stour Head. So again, these are from uh, photographs I took at the time. And then Mallard's Pike in the Forest of Dean, which is just up the road. A line in Bell Lane, Westbury on Seven, which again is uh, quite local. Lovely church there, massive uh, tower. Uh, and what I like about these, this is all oh, the, the black dog um, in Newent, where we had a lovely meal. Um, really nice. And Newent itself is a lovely place to visit. Gorgeous church, wonderful buildings. Um, um, and what I'm finding as I go through this and looking at the sketchbooks that I've done previously is that my um, methods and my, hopefully my skills are getting better. I'm quite enjoying uh, what I'm doing at the moment. That's a view onto uh, the two bridges going across the River Severn, um, or near Avonmouth, Newnham. Uh, on seven, looking towards Broad Oak. Again, the um, uh, I think it's the, is it the White Hart uh, pub there. Really nice, um, lovely meals at reasonable prices. So there's a, an advert for uh, for them. Uh, the Harbour Master's office at Lydney, uh, at Lydney Harbour, which I've painted several times now. Um, then going back in time again, working from black and white photographs, Colford Marketplace, uh, circa 1900. Again, another plain air across um, the water from Lydney Harbour. And then I started looking at gatehouses. So this is the gateway um, to uh, Blaston Hall. Now this is Balmoral Castle, Balmoral Castle, which I completely doesn't fit in with this, but I did on um, the, uh, the sad death of, our, of Her Majesty, our Queen. Um, so it was done on the 13th of September last year. Colford Market Street, circa 1913, um, Little Sheppy House, Stanton, Anne Hathaway's Cottage again from a different view. Uh, that's not oriented to the right way, that's Dunster High Street, Dunster Castle, another view of Yarn Market, Dunster, Caldicott Castle just down the road, uh, Castle Koch, again fairly local, uh, Cottage at Merthyr Mar. Sydney Estate Cottage, lovely little cottage. The Gardener's Arms at Elderton. Again, that's not orientated right. And again, this is totally out of Kinto. This is uh, the Punch Hotel in Hull. Uh, Witchcombe Museum. Picard's Lodge near Western Burt. The Gatehouse on uh, in the Cotswolds. Uh, that's... Um, a gatehouse that often passed on our way up the A429 to Nottingham um, and which I always meant to stop and take a photograph of. Eventually uh, found a photograph of that. Whittington Court, uh, Knockgrove Cottage in the Cotswolds and that's it. Well, I hope you enjoyed looking at that. I've this is, this is, We've got about 60 uh, paintings in this sketchbook. You can see I work on both sides of the paper. Uh, that's not trying to be a cheapskate, it's because I, I like the idea that the um, uh, these sketchbooks uh, in the far distant future will remain intact as they are. If I paint on one side, 
um, what could happen is that the paintings get taken out of the sketchbook and therefore the sketchbook uses, loses its um, uh, integrity. Um, but it does mean that you're working on cockled paper um, sometimes. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. Um, I'm presently working on views around Venice and uh, Europe. So um, I'll show you that one when that's finished too. Thank you for watching.